urban hip hop, a spoonful of French desserts, and a whole lot of magic. Get ready for Wow Wednesdays on DXV today. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to One and All. And yes, we kick off a brand new month with an action-packed episode. Uh, we've got one that gets your taste buds tingling, your feet tapping, and as Abel was mentioning just a few moments ago, a big sprinkle of magic. Ooh, yes. magic. Now, if that isn't a Wow Wednesday, then I don't know what is. You're right, Tom. February's got Dubai absolutely buzzing, and there's tons of activities, performances, and events lined up all across the city, and we'll be covering everything you need to know. Yes, for bookworms and literature enthusiasts, we've got Emirates Literature Festival kicking off today. And DXB Today will, of course, be down in full force. And rumour has it that our very own Ash may even bag an exclusive with one of Hollywood's most prolific actors, Brian Cox. Guys, are you ready for this year's festival? Um, very much indeed, yeah, doing a lot of work down there and looking forward to the Brian Cox gig yes. as well uh, tomorrow evening. I'm a bit jealous of Ash with this one. Brian Cox, bit of a sort of personal favourite. Yes. I'm not going to use his catchphrase because uh, we'll get taken off air, but okay. uh, uh, yeah, Brian Cox is just one of a number. And that's what I love about the Lit Fest is the diversity is something for literally everyone, everyone down there. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Is there anything specific that you're going to look at at the Lit Fest? You know, I'm actually really excited about including um, local authors yeah. as well. Yeah. Because I very much stick to my own books and I don't venture out. But places like the Lit Fest, you can do so much to discover authors you may have not even known, you yeah. know, coming onto your radar. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, it's amazing. Uh, and it allows me to look very intelligent by putting my glasses on like this. Oh, oh very nice. Yeah, put those glasses on. It does help. <laughs> uh, putting the glassing, uh, glasses aside for just a few moments. Uh, listen. We're all about fun here tonight, and we've got one of Dubai's top entertainers who agreed to co-host with us today. A renowned magician around town, quite a few tricks up his sleeve, might show us a few later, but before all that, let's introduce to you our guest co-host today. I am Wayne al -Bistaki. I'm really honoured to be here, a magician, mentalist, an illusionist. I'm really excited to be co-hosting. I hope to add some sprinkle of magic to the show. Well, Moen, we are all big fans and we can't wait to see what you have got in store for us today. Indeed, that's right. Ed. Uh, from magic and music to a bit of dance, there's food and some fancy driving a little later on as well. Dubai's got it all at the moment. It's the reason Dubai is, without doubt, the world's entertainment capital and hub. And lately, we've been seeing a large range of international artists right here in Dubai. Hans Zimmer, of course. Who went to Hans Zimmer? Anyone go to Hans Zimmer? I didn't, but I heard it was something yeah. not to be missed. I was outside of Dubai this weekend and I had major FOMO because I was watching everybody's social media and I was very jealous. I know. We had the rain, but that didn't dampen spirits at all. Not you had obviously at all. Hans Zimmer, had a little bit of sporting events going on, all sorts happening. As I know. Well, well Though, although we're seeing plenty of Hollywood talent out and about in Dubai, Mimi has tracked down a world-famous dan dance group that has actually flown in all the way from Norway. So let's mm. see what they're up to. Yeah, hi guys. Thanks for having me. I am out here in City Walk tonight because you can see the people gathering behind me. The amazing, the talented dance troupe Quickstyle are going to be performing right here, all part of DSF. So you're going to have to come back and join me a bit later. I'm going to get down with the crowd right now. Right, so Nimi, a Norwegian dance. What could possibly go wrong this evening, huh? <laughs> Nothing. Sure, we're in good hands. Oyn, well, thank you so much indeed for thank agreeing, to, agreeing to be our co-host. Tell us a bit more about what you do. Uh, well, um, I'm, I'm a unique kind of uh, forbidden fruit in this society. <laughs> um, I do magic, which, which people in the beginning when I came on and presented some of my skills were kind of not really accepting it until they learned the difference between the real magic and what illusions are. Mm. So my path was of an education. It was to tell them that, yeah, that exists, that, that real magic exists, mm. but what I do is maybe not that. Mm. So 
Mm. So, yeah. We're looking forward to seeing it with our own eyes and open up our minds Can't a little wait. later on Can't as well. But thank you so much indeed thank for you. being with us here to this evening as well. Right, speaking of magical foods, it's also been a big week in Dubai for foodies, with the top 50 best restaurants in MENA being unveiled earlier this week. And to join us to tell us a little bit more about that is UAE-based food and lifestyle blogger Naomi D'Souza. Welcome, Naomi. Thank you for having me. So tell us, you were at the awards ceremony yesterday. Any favorites that you would recommend us to go and visit? Who won? Give us all the gossip. Some of my favorite restaurants were actually in the top 10, mm -hmm. which was pretty cool and good for me as well, because when I give my recommendations, there's obviously some justification and acknowledgement to it. Uh, some of my favorites were actually Orfali Bros. Okay. That came at number one. Wow. Trescent Studios, mm -hmm. that was at number two. I love Three Fills. Mm -hmm. I love that too. It, it came at number one uh, last year. You're listing my favorite restaurants here. Yeah, so exactly. I'm so happy so that's that's that they've said, all like, you know, been placed. Yeah, they were my absolute favorites. And Three Fills was at number five, and Kenoya, I literally go there twice, thrice a month. I absolutely love Neha's Ramen. Um, that came at number seven. So I think wow. the list was pretty good. What I really liked about the list, uh, and this of course, the top 50 in the MENA region as a whole. Great to see great recognition for the UAE. Three from Abu Dhabi, the rest uh, 15 from Dubai yeah. as well. But what I love is that you've got your big guns there, your Zoomers, your LPMs, um, uh, those that have been around for Koya as well. But looking at the growing number of sort of independent startups, the homegrown restaurants, the home right? restaurants. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, I have noticed that. And it's, it's really good for the homegrown restaurants to get that recognition because everyone is in a mindset that you need to be a licensed restaurant or you need to be fine dining. But that isn't the case anymore because homegrown restaurants and homegrown chefs, it's, you, you know, they are budding everywhere right mm. now. Yeah. Uh, now, the, I've seen lots of restaurants coming up and a person from Dubai, I've been surprised with people coming and talking about new restaurants that I've never heard of. Mm. And I, I have got this tough time of catching up and then finding up the new places. Yeah. So for locals here, what can you suggest? Three best restaurants that they might have not heard of mm. or something of local style of food? That's a bit tough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I think statistically there are over 13,000 restaurants, I think, just in Dubai. Wow. I may be wrong. Uh, so, so that's a bit tough. But to answer your question, do I have to stick to the list? You don't have to. I love Orfali, Arabian. Orfali, as well. Go get Orfali, you? Orfali is going to be there, yeah. but something that wasn't in the list that I personally love is Arabian Tea House. Mm. Oh, so that's yes. been there for decades in uh, UAE and it's opened so many branches in Dubai. It started at Al Fahidi and now it's, you know, they have about four or five branches if I'm not mistaken. So that is definitely one because tourists and travelers, even family friends who are coming from abroad, they can actually taste the authenticity mm -hmm. of Emirati food. So I personally love Arabian Tea House, highly recommend. Um, I do love Orfali Bros because their food is a fusion and a twist to Arabic cuisine as well. Mm. And I love Kenoya. Perfect. Amazing. They're all Amazing great ramen. restaurants. Yeah. So we're seeing like so much growth in the Dubai food uh, industry. Mm. Do you think that we can keep escalating? Because I know internationally now we're having our restaurants like appear in London and Paris. So do you think that we can keep growing and you know making these amazing restaurants that are unique? I think Till 2022, there there wasn't any Michelin guide. There wasn't the Mina's World 50 Best, and with the introduction of these awards in this region, it has actually uh, created this some sort of healthy competition, I would say, amongst uh, restaurants. And I think, and I think that will only it's only upwards from here. You know, everyone everyone is kind of competing. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to keep the same standards, consistency, quality Amazing. of food, the hospitality, the service. So, you know, keeping up with all that, I think it is only upwards from here. Fabulous. Well, I'm feeling hungry now. I think I need to go and make <laughs> some quick reservations for dinner. <laughs> yeah, and I think I'll be making res reservations at those recommendations. <laughs> so let's take a short break and make sure you come back for something truly magical. Welcome back. Now, Dubai truly is a dream destination. It's got everything from art, music, fashion, science. But personally, for me, 
it's the food that gets me going. Yes, Dubai is not only a melting pot of cultures, but also cuisines as well. And I got an exclusive with a world famous French pastry chef whose award winning dessert is also winning hearts. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm here at Jan Kruver Patisserie and I'm going to be meeting Chef Jan himself and trying to make some of his delicious dishes. In fact, there's one that has won an award and I can't wait to try it out. Come join me. So joining me now is Chef Jan Kruver. 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 <laughs> And we are going to have a little look at what is on offer here in the patisserie. But first of all, I want to welcome you to the Merveille Paris Brest and maybe the Isachi Star too. Okay. And why are these your special specialities? Are they because they're your favorite? Mm, or your it's customers? A, it's, yes, it's the guest favorite. Okay, one more question before we jump behind the counter and we go into a little bit more detail. I see your little fox logo everywhere. Yeah. What's the secret behind the fox? There is no secret in fact. <laughs> fox is our logo because it's a, a free animal, very like to eat pastries or <laughs> a lot of uh, products. I think it's a good way to represent our brand. Yeah, it's a very clever animal if it wants to eat your pastries, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're now behind the counter, and Chef, I believe we're going to be making one of your signature pastries. It's a vanilla milfeuille, Queen Amman Du, uh, the part of the France that I'm uh, from, mm -hmm. Britain. And uh, it's a special uh, speciality of Britain, Queen Amman. Okay, amazing. Now this is an award-winning pastry, am I correct? The dessert of the year? Yes. Uh, 10 years ago maybe in France, but he's uh, part of me, okay. you know? and uh, it's my touch and uh, uh, it's a pleasure to me to make it with you today. Let's go. Okay, come on. First of all, I take the vanilla powder and then to fix Queen Amman Beautiful. and I put vanilla. So, and I put Salt caramel. One last level. With the salted caramel again. Vanilla salt caramel. Icing sugar. And vanilla powder again. That's finished. That's the signature of the, okay. the okay. dessert. Amazing. <laughs> Wow, this is incredible, a piece of art. You want to try it? Yeah. Alone? Alone. Mm. That is so good. Well, I have had an amazing time here in the patisserie, trying out some of the amazing pastries on offer, as well as making an award-winning dessert. But guys in the studio, this one's for you. We say this one's for us, but we don't actually see it, do we, do we? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ate it on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> love my French cuisine, love my French patisserie, uh, loving that report, and we thank you very much indeed for that. I suddenly got some props in front of him. Moen, tell us more. There we go. So, Doa, you have your phone with you, yes? I do. Would you mind giving your phone to Tom? Of course. All right. You sure? So is it locked? Is it locked? <laughs> yes? No, I've unlocked it. No, just please lock it. Okay. Yes? <laughs> Do you know her passcode? I've, I've seen no idea. No, right, okay. <laughs> Just you, can, you, can you try this? Can you punch in the first number? The first number. I'm going to do this quick because I don't think we have much time. The first number. Is it two? No. Yes, yeah, no? Mm -mm. Okay, there, okay. All right, so that... Hmm. Okay, that makes it more difficult. So, your year of birth, because I'm getting confused with lots of information. Mm -hmm. Year of birth. Um, Gonna have to hurry you. Right. Uh, 1988, 
Yes. Oh my God. All right. Thank you very much. I think we're going to keep that as a secret. Okay, that's a secret. All right. Okay. We don't want to open her phone for anybody to Fine. know. Her password. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Listen, we can't thank you enough. Thanks so much indeed for our time thank today. You. Thank, thank you for talk. showing us what's opening lovely. our minds as well. Amy, you have a few questions? Yes. So I think we're going to now jump into our quiz. So you've got 60 seconds. So let's. Start by this. the <laughs> clock. I hope you've been paying attention. Sorry. In three, two, one. Um, the clock started. So, which Emirati airline sponsors the annual literature festival in Dubai? Is it Etihad or Emirates? I'll go with Etihad. Incorrect. Uh. Has the Emirates Literature Festival started already? Yes or no? Yes. Correct. Which Hollywood composer pre performed live in Dubai last weekend? John Williams or Hans Zimmer? Hans Zimmer. Correct. What was the name of the famous dance group featured today? Was it Quick Style or Tempo Masters? Quick Style. Correct. Where is Quick Style based out of? Is it Norway or Finland? Norway. Correct. The group was created by how many people? Three or five? Three. Correct. How many members of the group did our interviewer Nimi actually meet? Was it ten or seven? Seven. Correct. Where did the dance group perform in Dubai just now? Was it City Walk or Al Sakal Avenue? Al Sakal Avenue. Incorrect. No. What was the name of the famous chef we met today? Was it Young Cover or Gordon Ramsay? <gasps> Young the first one. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> correct. We'll give Well done. You got seven correct. So where does that place you on our leaderboard? Let's find out. Yes, indeed. Yeah, obviously running that leaderboard throughout the week and throughout the season as well. So here we go. So you are in second place. Oh, Congratulations well with you. seven points. Thank you. Very well, impressive. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks thank for you for the time. Transport. Oh, thank you for showing us uh, some of your extraordinary tricks as well. And uh, that was pretty magic. More magic coming away in a few moments' time, courtesy uh, of the aforementioned dance routine. Nimi, Norway. What could possibly happen? Find out next. <laughs> Welcome back, and we are just moments away from crossing over to Nimi, who is with our Norwegian dancers, Quick Style. But right here in the studio, joining me right now is Lebanese singer and songwriter Jay Abo. What's up, Amy? Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. I always love being on uh, Dubai One anytime I get any the chance. Thank you so much. So, you're a singer, songwriter, yeah. create all your own music, and I believe that you've got a song coming out very soon. I do, I do. I have a song called Change Tomorrow. It's coming out on uh, February 16th, and it's uh, basically a song about, you know, the fact that we all have this fantasy that we're going to change all these things about ourselves overnight, you know, become a, you know, someone who journals and meditates and jogs and has all these healthy habits. Uh, it's just a song about just constantly having that feeling. You know, I'm going to change everything tomorrow. Uh, but I said the same thing yesterday. That's kind of the song in a nutshell, you know? Okay, amazing. Well, we can't wait to hear it. Now, you're obviously, you're going to be performing for us right now. Right. But if anybody wants to catch one of your live performances, where can they see you? Uh, well, I host a really nice unplugged night at Cove Beach on Mondays. Okay. And then we've got an open mic night for sort of more people who are starting out on uh, Wednesdays at the Melrose in the Paramount Midtown. Okay, amazing. Well, we'll be sure to catch you there. So, Jay, I'm going to leave you while you get ready. And in the meantime, we've kept you waiting long enough. Over to Nimi now with the one and only Quick Style. DXB today is sat down with the coolest guys in town right now. We're talking about Quick Style. Welcome to Dubai hey, again, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> What you guys have been doing has been amazing. Even since I last saw you last year, I mean, you have, what I love the most is the students, the, the workshops, the going around, really having an impact on the dance community on a large scale. How has that been? You've, you've grown so much as time has gone, gone on. So how has that changed for you and what are you hoping to achieve? I feel like uh, before we used to teach classes, master classes around the world, but very technically because we were so in the dancing. But now it's more about, you know, inclusiveness, like sharing with people that are not used to dancing technically, but more 
enjoying for the enjoyment for enjoying the environment the dance the energy and the music you know mm -hmm. so it's uh, it has changed only in that sense mm -hmm. but for us it's, it's still a lot of fun i'm so excited for your performance uh, tonight but i do have a little fire round uh, fire. if you will <laughs> oblige uh, so we're going to find out a bit more about quick style and also what they think about each other right now so let's go who is the most intelligent who want to claim Just it? Just point at whoever you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Okay. I pretend um, to be, at least. Pretend to be. Well, it's working. Uh, who's the laziest? Laziest? <laughs> Bilal? Yeah, I yeah? think so too. Yeah, oh, he's claiming it. Okay, and who's the best cook? Suleiman. Okay, is Suleiman's the best cook. Who takes the longest to get ready? Suleiman. <laughs> yeah. no. Well, let's, let's give that to William. William. Oh, okay. 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 And who is the most shy? These guys. These two. Yeah? yeah. Raphael. Are you the youngest? Yes. Ah, oh, that explains it. Guys, I appreciate you so much for being Same. here and spending time with us and for sharing with our viewers what you guys stand for. What you do is phenomenal. So thank you so much. Thank you. That's all from me and Quickstyle. If you want to get to know more about their journey and where they're going to be performing at the Quickstyle on the ground, they will definitely be coming back to Dubai. They absolutely love it here. So I'm going to go enjoy their performance. But until then, this is just more proof that Dubai is bringing the superstars to town. Hey, it's Quick Style, and you're watching DXB today. Nice one, Nimi, although feeling a little bit shortchanged. Where were the dance moves from I Nimi? I know, I know. We were all highly waiting in anticipation. But we yeah, didn't want coming. Anyway, uh, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> Thriving Thursday tomorrow. Do make sure you join us same time, same place, uh, because we are looking at the popularity of podcasts. Looking forward to that one tomorrow. Ames, thank you very much indeed to you. Thank Dima, you. Thank you very much indeed to you. Thank you, Tom. Over to Jay now to play us out, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye. I've been living recklessly And it's all because I'm not alright with me Yes, I've been living recklessly And I've been loving aimlessly Think I'd rather live inside of fantasies Yes, I've been loving aimlessly And off we run to the empty nights and the bathroom fights. Oh, it's all we know we'll be alright. Because I'm gonna change tomorrow. I know I said I'd do it before. Gonna let it all go. Cause I can't live this way anymore Gonna change tomorrow But I said the same thing yesterday well, I've been living recklessly And it's all because I'm not alright with me Yes, I've been living recklessly I've been sleeping restlessly Counting sheep up to infinity Yes, I've been sleeping restlessly hey. We're on the run oh, Not too sure where we're running from Oh, for all We know we're just having fun Cause I'm gonna change tomorrow I know I said I'd do it before Gotta let it all go Cause I can't live this way anymore Gonna change tomorrow
tomorrow But I said the same thing yesterday I said the same thing yesterday See, I know I can change tomorrow And yeah, I said the same thing before Gotta let it all go Cause I don't wanna do this anymore Gonna change tomorrow 